All right, guys, we're back for part two of this huge haul that Kathy did. If you don't know who we are, my name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have part two of this haul that Kathy's about to talk to you about. <laughs> we also have Reefy here. <laughs> yeah. Right. So between recording haul number one, I found one more bag of shoes. <laughs> yeah. So. Hopefully this doesn't take, these bags are a little smaller, so. Yeah, and if you haven't seen that haul, go check it. We'll, you, we explain what's going on all around here and all that, so uh, go check out that haul. Well, <laughs> well, we explain it if you're a normal viewer. If you're That's a viewer true. and you're just like, what are you guys doing? We just buy all this stuff at Goodwill and sell it online for profit. So. <laughs> yep. Ugh. Anyhow, mostly shoes. Actually, I've, I'm seeing some clothes, so. The clothes I got are all in these last few bags. So these are AGL. I've only sold these one time. They retail for a ridiculous amount, but I feel like the resale is not super good. Uh, these are also a small size, but I want to say they're, I'm going to get at least 30 for them. Maybe a little more. They're in really good condition. So I don't want to tell you to bolo that brand. I know a lot of people pick it up. It's just not my favorite. Yeah. These are beta brands, so that's what the beta brand logo looks like if you haven't seen it before. Yep, yeah, these are one in six. I've never sold the flats before, but I think I've sold a couple of their wedges or something and their clothes, some of their pants specifically do really well. So I would say Bolo Beta Brand. Are you licking yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Don't lick yourself. Got We're recording here. <laughs> some men's just a Clark slip on. Casual shoe usually sells around $30, $35. These are men's eight and a half. When I say a price, I'm, it's gonna be like plus shipping, so. Yeah. All right, uh, these are some Nike, just slide sandals, usually go right around 20, maybe 25 plus ship. This was like the deal of a lifetime, I feel like. <laughs> So I've sold two pairs of these recently. The brand is Zero Shoes. Um, just Z X E R O shoes. Huh. And like I just sold these other two pairs and they were like sneakers in the last month, I wanna say. Previously I'd never even heard of the brand. Anyways, these I didn't see a sticker on them, but they had the writing on the bottom. Goodwill does both. And it's a 99 cent, so I got these for 99 cents. <laughs> Anyways, these sell for like $40 at least. It was like a barefoot kind yeah. of shoe. So like a super minimalist yeah. sandal, basically just enough so that you're almost barefoot if you're like trail hiking or something. But definitely Bolo Zero shoes, but that was a deal of a lifetime. 99 cents. Very nice. Yes. All right, what else do we got? I did pick up for a few things just because I like them and they sell fast. These are Birkenstocks. These are a women's 40, which I believe is like a nine, I want to say, eight and a half, nine. They wrote eight and a half right here. So thanks, good one. <laughs> um, I want to say I can get probably about 50, maybe close to 60. We'll see. Uh, this is my first time selling this brand, but it retails for a lot. And resells really good too. The brand is Duck Feet. I think you can- Duck Feet. <laughs> duck Feet. You can recognize it by this little flat. Is this a flag you think? Yeah. I'm assuming it's a flag. Yeah. Anyways. It's like Sweden? Possibly. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, or Swiss? I, I don't know. I, f I found this brand one other time, but I didn't know what it was at the time. It had that mark. I could tell it was nice, but it, I couldn't see a brand anywhere. And I left it and I regret it ever since. It was a <laughs> pair of like taller boots, which would have been like at least $150 sale. Mm. And I went back the next day and they were gone, obviously. Yeah. Somebody knew what they were. But anyways, these will, these are just mules, but they should sell probably around $90. Wow. Um, they do have, I mean, they have some marks, maybe a tiny bit less, but all the comps that I saw were about 95 for pre-owned, so. Okay. Bolo, really Bolo duck, duck feet, feet. Yeah. yeah. Really good brand. And then these I'm probably keeping for Potter, but I'll just show you because they're so cute. They're um, Adidas, but like Lego. Oh, neat. Yeah, so I'll see if he wants them. If not, I think I can get like $50 for these, so I might just sell them, but. Uh, the cool thing about being a reseller is finding cool stuff for your kids for cheap too, so. <laughs> I wonder if those are actual 
Like if you can, oh, if you can attach Legos. Legos to it. <laughs> I guess now we're gonna have to try, huh? Yeah. So those are cool. Though basically brand new. All right, what do I got here? Oh, this was such a cool dress. <laughs> Just because I know that these frilly dresses sell well. What was cool about this is it looked brand new and it like had this still attached to it, like the matching head. Oh yeah, a little thingy. barrette yeah, thing. Yeah, they just had it on there. Like, what are the chances at the thrift store you find like a full on dress with matching head piece? Right. Uh, the brand is Little Dollies. So never heard of the brand. Just in general, um, I would pick up anything that's super frilly like this, like a pageant dress. Mm -hmm. uh, because you can at least get 20 for almost any of them, even if they don't have a brand attached to it. Uh, I picked this up thinking I was gonna get like maybe 30. And then when I looked up comps, I might be able to get 50, maybe even like up to 70. Hey. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. And well, this was a size 3T. So that's a pretty good size. Um, and I noticed like when people were like the comps, they like had them photographed like this and called them like, like full circle or something. Oh, okay. So. I don't I just, know. Yeah. So they're definitely like a twirly dress. You know? Yeah, I was gonna say. I imagine a yeah. little three-year-old girl just spinning around like crazy. This reminds me of like John Ramsey kind of. Oh yeah. Thing. So, yeah, frilly dresses are definitely popular. So. Oh, these I think I just bought because they were new at Tag. I feel like they were cheap too. Four ninety-nine Cabela's. I mean, they're only retail for twenty-five, but. I'll probably list them around 25, men's 36. So, new attack, easy listing. I'll at least profit $10 off of those. This was a really good find. It's like a new inbox, still sealed, like factory seal. Fitbit Flex for $14.99. And these, when I scanned it, were selling for at least a hundred, a lot for one fifty, so probably somewhere in that range. Nice. And really fast sell through, so sweet. Very oh. happy about that. That yeah. was in the glass where they had random shoes marked up to like eighty nine dollars, but the Fitbit was priced at fifteen. So oh, like in the it. display case, yeah. kind of. Yeah. So okay. I normally don't even check that, but this was in Castle Rock, Colorado, so they sometimes have good shoes there. That's actually where I found these shoes in the same glass, so I just happened to notice the Fitbit. And I'm glad I asked to look at it. I normally don't like bugging the employees. So, oh, this is a bag. I bought some like stuff for myself and for the kids. Mm. Let me just quickly, I think this might all be. <laughs> Personal. Yeah, some <laughs> nice like tourist shirts. If they don't fit, they'll end up getting listed, but I feel like they were like six bucks each or something. Nice. Mm. Oh yeah, this one's for sale. kids Nike shirts. I like shopping for my kids at the thrift store. So. Yeah. This little rash guard was half off, so it was only two bucks. Not nice. for our kids, but like, like it's like brand new looking. Yeah. Anyhow. Uh, this one is something I'm gonna sell. It's a Masters. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah. This is super soft feel. This you get a feel. All right, can, can you feel it? No. Oh, me. <laughs> it feels really soft, right? Yeah. It's like so soft. Anyways, uh, size medium. I want to say I can get at least $50 for this. I was going to say this has to be at least Pima Cotton. It is Pima Cotton and Spandex. It's super soft. If you didn't hear me, it's super soft. If anyone <laughs> wants to feel it, you can buy it at any of our links in the description. <laughs> Probably about three months from now is when we'll get it. <laughs> That's it true. took us a week to get it out of the Probably van. I'm going to do shoes first, so. <laughs> All right, let's keep going with the little bags. Um, these are just some Tommy Bahama jeans. I believe tan was half off, so these are probably about $4. That's the only reason I bought them. They're not going to go for a ton. Probably around 30 The size is here somewhere. 36 30s. So four into thirty dollars about I think that was good. These are older Lucky brand, but I honestly only got them because they're like embroidered. Yeah. And I think that these white was like thirty percent off, so these are probably about five dollars. So they're size eight. I thought they were cool. Embroidered jeans seem to do well for me. What do we 
got? Oh, these are, I thought these were, these were in the men's section, but I looked at the style code and I believe they're women's. Just like a little Nike golf short or something. So probably 25 to 30 on those. This I just thought was so cool. I had to get it. Look at that old Nike tag. Oh, wow. And it says made in the USA. Boop. Made in USA. It's just like a bike jersey. Um, I feel like it has a couple snags. But, and the comps weren't even that great. They were like $25, but I think this was five. Mm. Uh, well, it was seven, but 30% off. So around five something. Yeah, so. So it's vintage like, medium? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's men's or women's. I mean, I'm probably just gonna say medium and not really specify. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just do measurements. Uh, these are just some kids' Nike joggers, size small. I would keep them for my kid, but this is a little busier than where yeah. we just normally go with plain black joggers, so. What brand was that again? They're not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> not. I think it's very funny when companies put their brand like plastered on there like that. Like <laughs> people like it. I know people like it. I don't, but you know, yeah. I'm an old <laughs> geezer. So, <laughs> so again, these were seven, but thirty percent off. Just new tag Nike baseball with a retail of forty. They're a boys XL, so probably like a boys fourteen, sixteen, or something. I think I can get like twenty five, maybe out of those. I just like listing new tag stuff and just having that in my shop. These, I probably shouldn't have bought. I honestly bought them because I just like these shorts. <laughs> I definitely buy them when they're men's, but these are a boys 14 and they're just early and they were six bucks. In my head, I was like, oh, I'll just keep them for Connor if, but they're size 14 and yeah. it's seven. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Keep them for 12 more years. I mean, I He's definitely so... won't lose money. I yeah. can probably sell them for like 15 to 20, but that doesn't leave much room for profit. So <laughs> I just really like those types of shorts. You'll have a lot of fun selling it, right? <laughs> All right. Here. Got some Merrill Barefoot, size eight and a half men's. These usually sell right around $40. Uh, Earth Spirit. These should probably be around 30 as well. I can't ever know this size on those was an eight. These were in like super good shape. I don't know. That was a sticker from some mouse. <laughs> uh, these are your women's eight and a half. A little bit <laughs> crunched just from being in the car for so long. But yeah, really good shape. So those will probably be around 40. Yeah. Thanks, Kristen, at A Real Squirrel. Um, we were at an ARC up in Denver and she pointed these out. They were behind the counter, both of them. Like sometimes they'll put one on the shelf. Yeah. These were just like all the way behind the counter and they had them priced at 25, but actually white was half off because I remember. Hey. Yeah, so these are twelve fifty. So yeah, so then all those white tags that I told you were thirty were actually half. No, those are at Goodwill. So that was thirty. Okay. okay. My brain was just like, wait a minute. She's I processing more. here. Because <laughs> then I was like at Goodwill again yesterday, which is Saturday, and that's the last day before they changed the color. And I'm a hundred percent sure that tan white. was half off and white was thirty percent. So. Yes, this is a whole different store. Arc. Okay. Their colors mean nothing to Goodwill's colors. <laughs> right, right. Anyways, I was going to pay 25 for these because, I mean, they'll sell for at least 50 mm -hmm. and they'll sell fast. So, but then, yeah, getting them for 12 50 that was a great deal. They're a women's size 7. These Olukai, retail yeah. for like a ton of money. The ones with the embroidered footbeds have done really well for me specifically. I mean, they all do really well. But... Yeah. Uh, the men's are... ones do super well too. Yeah. I like the Olakai flip flops. Uh, with the one pair that I have. <laughs> <laughs> and only because we found them at the thrift, we would never probably buy them. For right, right, right. Or anything. Uh, yeah, so I think we showed a pair of these in the first haul, um, but in a different color. These have a little dirt spot there, but otherwise, kind of like a mustardy yellow color. I think they'll be nice for fall. Um, men's size 10 and a half. These usually sell. I want to say 50, but maybe with the spots, at least 40. So, mm -hmm. 
and they were only priced at 10 bucks, so I had to get them. Put the boots up top. What are these? Why did I get these? Vintage? Oh, this is why, because they were new at 10, because oh, I just like new at 10. <laughs> uh, yeah, so these are 30% off of eight, so what, six bucks or something. Men's size 44, just a denim short, basic. Probably at least a $30. We're close to it. Sale out of those. Got some bionic wedges. I feel like I found a lot of bionic lately. Yeah, these are women's 11. Never seen these. They're really pretty. They kind of remind me of like Easter time, like spring. Like a pastel purple. Yeah. Okay. I'll make these like that. Okay, what else do we got? Oh, some Nike Metcons. I did pay 15 for these. I think they'll sell for like 40 to 50, which isn't a huge profit, but they should sell hopefully fairly quickly. Um, yeah, women seven and a half on those. Really good shape. These are huge size, 15, but like, yeah. uh, like three E or something. Very wide, yeah. Yeah, so those should do well. Look at their cool knit Oxford. Oh, those were sketches. I don't think I said that, but uh, some Nike Air Max. These are a used six and a half. A little dirty on the toes, but they're not like scuffed. It's just dirt, so that should wipe off easily. Otherwise, good shape. I did look up comps on these because they were also 15, and I don't like paying 15 without looking up comps, but um, the only comps were on new, and those were going for like 99. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I could probably at least get half of that, right? 50 at the very least. I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> so I did pay 15. Um, a trick you can do with Nikes also is if they're a use size, you can just look up the size chart and kind of convert, like say they're women's, whatever. Like by comparing the Euro sizing. So. Gotcha. All right. Uh, these are New Balance, size seven men's, 608. These were just in really good shape. So grab them. I think I can get about 40 out of those. What else is it in that one? That's um, Palladiums. I don't know. I never know if I'm saying that right. That's the brand name. These are kind of cool. They're like a nylon but I've sold leather ones. They also have like um, just canvas. I think they have suede ones, so. Good brand though. I think I can get at least 50 out of these. They're in really good shape. Um, men's five, women's six and a half. A little bit of a smaller size though. Got these New Balance. Oh yeah. Like a boot. Pretty cool. Uh, men's 14, so really big size. I don't know. I didn't look up pumps on those. I just felt like they were in great shape and worth grabbing. Do those have a hard toe? No. No, okay. So, yeah, hard toe would definitely make them more valuable. Oh gosh, I just, I've been worried about these because I, I think I paid, I definitely paid full price on them. $35, but like, look how good of shape they are. They're Allen Edmonds. Yeah, and more I like found 10 minutes, it looks like. Yeah. Is this the pair you were looking for? No. No? <laughs> this isn't the best pair, I don't think. Yeah, I'm still looking for those things for reminding me. <laughs> giving me a panic attack. Because, like, that bag wasn't from the same day. So if it's not in one of these bags, I'm going to have a panic attack. I'm going to be taking the car <laughs> apart even more. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, these are also a large size men's 14. A couple scuffs, but otherwise, I mean, they're really good. And I saw some other of the Lake Forest... Oxford in a men's 14 selling for like 150. So I was okay to spend the 35. Hopefully they sell fairly quickly. Because mm -hmm. I do want to get that investment back, but also the profit. So yeah, sometimes I take chances. I don't like spending $35 on a pair of shoes unless I like 100% know it's going to sell like in a week. But yeah, I appreciate that they wrote the price on the uh, rubber part oh, of the right, shoe. Oh, right, right, because if they did the leather, yeah. that would be, like, messing it all up. Yeah. If you need to get marker off of leather, use sandpaper. It, 
when you use like any kind of chemical, it just kind of smears it into the leather, soaks yeah. it in. So sanding it off, but it's still kind of apparent uh, sometimes. So yeah. I'm appreciative that they <laughs> put it on the black part. Go ahead. I, I wasn't even paying I know. You don't think. <laughs> well, I was like with the people. And so I was like trying to hurry because it seemed like everybody was ready. But I was like, man, I got to get more shoes. This ain't a lot of good shoes here. <laughs> So like yeah. See everybody. Down. That's what I'm like, like <laughs> <laughs> trying to get out of a thrift store with yeah. Kathy. <laughs> uh, these are just born, but I've sold these like Aztec kind of ones. Like they're like a wool top, a few different times, and they I feel like they've sold for like forty. Um, but yeah, women seven, really good shape. They don't buy all born, but I thought those were worth it. These are Skechers. I thought these were Clark's. These are Skechers. Size 10, just a little booty. Probably looking at 35 or so on those. And then I just feel like, okay. It's like those are two of the same feet, they're not. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then some Crocs. So nice little Mary Jane black flat, size nine. Those should sell around 30. All right, let's keep going. I need to find the here we've all been waiting for. Alright, I get this bag. It's not going to be in this bag either. <laughs> I hope that they give us this extra receipt. I've been finding some big shoes lately. But yeah, I grabbed these because they were half off. Uh, so some 50. They're just Clark's. They're men's. 14 again. So, yeah. Those will probably sell for 35 to 40. Well, these are APO, which is very, these are like $200 shoes. New, um, I don't know how much I'm gonna get for them used. Probably at least 50 at the very, very low end. They're a size six and a half. Women's. We got some Sanook. Just basic slip on, men's 11, really good shape. Those usually sell around 30. Got some bionic flip flops, like a little bit of a platform. Size eight, those usually sell 35 to 40. Um, eight and a half. Just some Skechers flats, right around yeah. 30 usually. I feel like we've seen that same pair like three times. <laughs> I tell you. That's like, how it is. Yeah. yeah. And like the cool thing about that is I have so many of these just like stored in my List Perfectly catalog that I just copy my title over and over. Oh, yeah. So I don't have to like think about what I'm going to say each time or whatever. All right. These are Paul Green, which is very expensive. New. Um... I'll just mention it again, just because there's probably new viewers, but Paul Green, the sizing on them is in UK. Mm. So I'm trying to even find it. Yeah, like I believe it says seven. Anyway, so s these are not like a women's seven, they're seven UK, so I just have to look up their size chart to figure out what the actual US sizing is. But mm -hmm. anyways, uh, I don't know, at least 50, I would say, on those. Probably more. Paul Green is very expensive now. It's funny, because when you said Paul Green the first time, my brain went to Tom Green. I know you don't know who Tom <laughs> Green is, but I'm sure people out there know who Tom Green of is. Of course they do. Because <laughs> yeah. everyone knows everything that I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I was just like, really? And then I was like, oh, yeah, that was Tom Green. Never mind. Uh, some basic black vans. Men's five and a half, women's seven. These usually sell 30 to 35. All right. It's got to be in this bag. Are you, like, are you kidding? Like, we just randomly are picking <laughs> these bags. So. No, this was staged. Staged. I mean, it does seem that way. And I'm like, oh, okay. I there. see them. <laughs> Wait, this is literal panic leaf in my body. Okay. Oh, I don't even know why I have a bag in a bag. Because it was a bag in a bag. Yeah. Totally staged. Uh, oh, I know why. This is why. <laughs> I said, can you put these ones in a different bag because they're so dirty. Oh. <laughs> Look at those. 
gross, right? Yeah. But they're Nightmare Before Christmas fans. Oh, those are neat. So they, yeah, they're like oogie boogie. I've still never seen this movie, and I don't are they really like? Care too, but. Yeah, I wonder if they're uh, neat, like a black light reactive. It or looks like glow in the dark. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, I don't know. But those are I cool. feel like these were going for over 60 or around 60. Anyways, I obviously need to soak the bottoms, get yeah. that loose dirt out. But yeah, those are a men's six and a half, women's eight. But also these could shoes are a little dirty, just another pair of natives. These were two bucks, should sell for around 20. Although those are my kid's size, so. He uses these all summer, so I might just have him wear them a little bit. Yeah have a backup and then another pair of a little bit dirty so i'll wash these in the washing machine those are cool yeah these We're... are native also size 11 so at least 20 bucks probably the dirty bag <laughs> all right i'll show you the cool thing last <laughs> at least last out of this bag but got some other stuff here if i can find a match <laughs> Uh, these are Clarks, just like a sneaker, navy blue. So a lot of bread and butter here. Yeah. Um, but also some really cool stuff. Uh, men's 11. Those would sell probably 35 or so. What do we got? Another pair of Skechers. I feel like there was a pair like this in the last haul. Although they were like more of a wedge. These are more of a flat. But no tag. So that's cool. Size seven, probably 35 to 40 out of those since they're new. Um, these are in rough, really rough shape, honestly. I probably should have left them, but these are like the Nike Blazers, which are really popular right now. Not the black ones necessarily. I think the white ones do better, but mm. these were only priced at $2.99 because they were in the kit section. Okay. So that's why I got them. But if you get these in good shape, they're like a hundred dollar sale almost. But yeah. Are we gonna sell them in that these shape? These are also like a kid's highs, I think. Uh, these are actually a women's six. Hmm. Not youth. So, yeah. I mean, I can't really do much unless there's like a black suede pen to make those like more black. Hmm. It's mainly just like like you can see the heels worn Heel down drag, and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think I could even still at least get twenty. So. Right. I just got them. At this point, my cart was so full. Like, I, I'll i see if I still have a picture we can insert, but my cart was over the top. I didn't want to, like, think about everything that hard. I was like, most of this is good. If I take a chance on one, yeah. two. Yeah, $2, right? Like, yeah. you're not going to lose money. Yep. That's how I thought. These I just thought were cute. Little Circus by Sam Edelman sandals. Just, like, makes me want to, like, go on vacation or something again. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to go. We're vacation. still trying to catch up from our last vacation. Why we had this stuff in our car. <laughs> Those are women's nine. I didn't look up comps. I want to say they'd go for close to 30, but could be off. These are Joseph Chappelle. Um, just like a nice leather sneaker. Size 30, no, 40. It's probably like women's nine. Those are probably, Joseph Sabal does really well for me. I like that brand. Um, I want to say at least 40 on those. All right, got some Corin. These are just like a slip on, pointy toe, flat thingy with rhinestones. These were only a few dollars, size nine, extra, extra wide. Probably 25, 30, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just had to get them. What are these? Oh, more Torrid. These are Torrid booties, though. Black suede, so these should sell well. Come whenever people start shopping for fall, which is kind of right now. So. Yeah, it's coming up. Uh, these are a 12, size 12, uh, wide, wide, extra wide. All Torrid shoes are wide, so. I don't know if WW means like extra wide or just like, I don't know. I'll have to check their size chart. If like there's a like women's wine. Yeah, maybe. And then two W's. You know how men's have E, E, E. Yeah, e, yeah. E, e. <laughs> Anyways, these are Zara. I just thought those were like a cute sandal that you like tie up around your ankle. Size 36, so small size, probably like a five and a half or six, but thought they were cute. They'll probably go for around 30 or so. 
Alright, we're getting close to showing you the cool thing I found. <laughs> uh, these are girls size something. Tiva. <laughs> size three. Like a youth size three. Okay. okay. So those. I don't know, the women's ones usually go around 35 or so, but kids maybe like 20, 25. Got some blowfish. These I just buy because they're easy sellers, but not for a ton. They'll probably sell around 25. Uh, I don't see the size off the top of my head. All right, y'all ready for this? These things I already all saw on my Instagram. <laughs> These are Chloe sandals. Oh. These retail for like $595. Oh my goodness. I got them for $9.99. Hey. And I should be able to sell them, I think, for $250, maybe $300. Dang. Minimum, probably $200, like bottom of the barrel. <laughs> and look at them. But they're a small size, so that's the, the yeah. good part. I was thinking they were a 38, but they're a 35 and a half. I don't even know what that is. So I'll have to look up the size chart, but... Yeah, definitely not gonna be in a rush to sell them. I'm gonna wait for the right buyer. I don't, I almost right. never find like luxury items or anything like that. I can tell that they're real, but I don't feel the need to really get them authenticated or anything. Right. So yeah, from Chloe. That's the. <laughs> and I have found like a pair of flats. I know a viewer bought from us before, um, but these like are, I don't know. These are just like brand new. <laughs> Like, someone they bought these off yeah. at Goodwill, man. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> someone bought $600 candles, didn't wear them, and then dropped them off at Goodwill. Mm. Unless it was, like, just the store, like, a department store or something. Right. And I found Well, them. this was up they in Denver? Just, like, hanging. It was in Denver. Yeah. They were just, like, hanging on the sandal wall with a <laughs> bunch of, like, cheapy old navy flip-flops, like, in front of them. <laughs> but, like, I just, like, quickly peeked through them all, so. That was probably my luckiest day. Let's see what's in the this last bag. <laughs> funny is this has been just like in our entry over there. Um, probably for even longer than all this stuff's been in my car. <laughs> so this did not come from the same trip, and honestly, I don't even know what's in this bag at this point. It's like you've made yourself okay, a mystery bag. Okay, some shoes. <laughs> oh, I remember these. <laughs> Those look nice. Yeah, these are La Sportiva. Yeah. Really nice, like, mountaineering, but these retail for, like, 300-something. I remember looking them up. I think I can get 100 to 150 out of these, probably, like, closer to 150. They're size 45. They do look like someone changed out the insoles, though, into, like, a Adidas Boop. insole, so... <laughs> I don't know. That might hurt their value a little. But you can just add your own insoles. Right. Now, will you just take those out and leave it as oh, no right. insole? Yeah, I yeah. don't know. I mean, would you rather, if you were buying any of these I know you don't like these pair yeah. shoes, but would you rather have any insole than none? I know you specifically use special right. insoles, so <laughs> if you were a regular person. I am a regular person. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, I also found these Hoka. Uh, yeah, size men's 11 and a half, probably 50, 60, 70. Who knows how much Hoka's I can get anymore, but still picking them up. Yeah. Got some Salamins, not fake. Just kidding. Well, they're not fake. I'm not kidding about that, but I just think it's funny when people yeah. say stuff. That's in reference to uh, someone calling my Salamins. Right. They had already worn, um, rated as five star, <laughs> called them fake, changed the rating to one star. Five minutes later, changed the rating back to five star and say, just kidding. <laughs> I think they're real. They're just bad quality or something. Like, okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Kathy holds no grudges, <laughs> Not <guys>. any. <laughs> so if you ask me about the story in five years, I'll have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Anyways, uh, size nine and a half. Men's, Salomon's, usually you can get a, a minimum of 50 out of. All right. Meryl Barefoot, size seven women, usually an easy 40. I don't pick up all Toms. These were new tags, so I grabbed them. They're also a cute little style, like an espadrille. <laughs> 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 
Um, pre-owned ones I usually get like around 30, so these might go like 35, maybe 40. I doubt it. It's Tom's, but we'll see. Oh yeah! Get another pair of those UFOs. Hey. I've just been hanging out in that entryway. <laughs> I could have been having $60. Right. What's going on with that? <laughs> These are a size 41, so probably like a 10 women's. Let's see how these feel. I don't know, man. I think I like those ones from the first haul, those, the cheap <laughs> UFO look -alikes <laughs> oh, better. Yeah. Anyways, so these will probably go for like 50 to 60. Clarks, crushed, uh, just a blue flat, probably 30, 35. And last but not least, some Skechers, sandals, women's eight, probably at least 30 bucks. Very nice. So, yeah, I'm very happy with that. <laughs> so yeah, those two halls were just like my traveling up to Denver. And then I did go to the bins while I was there, so that will be its own haul as well. So a lot to work through in the next couple of weeks. Absolutely. But really good inventory. I'm excited about this one. Yeah. What do you think, Reese? Reese, you ready to eat? Let's <laughs> go <I still> eat. <laughs> All right, guys, that is going to do it for this haul. Thank you so much for sticking it to the end. This one ended up being a little bit longer than the last one. I, it was hard to kind of figure out what would be a good middle point.